Alrighty, here we are again on my SharePoint homepage and today we're going to be looking at sharing files with SharePoint. So files in document libraries can be shared either to staff internal to the company uh, and that might be if they don't have access to that file and you would just like to share that one particular file to them or it can also be shared to external people from the company. So that might be a vendor that you're collaborating on a, uh, on a document with um, or it might be that you have a terms and conditions file or something like that which you want to always keep up to date and not be sending a new file every time to external people. Well, this would be a way that the file is always stored internally on SharePoint and the external people actually connect to SharePoint to access this file so it's always up to date. So all I'm going to do initially is come over to my shared document library and I have a list of files. Now easiest way to share a file initially is just to come and click on the ellipsis or the three dots and simply go to share and I'm going to be presented with a dialog box here. So you can already see along the top who has access to the files and I can actually come and select shared with on the left to see a more detailed list of exactly who has access to these, this file at the moment and I could stop sharing this with particular people if I wished. What I'm going to do is just go back to invite people and what I can do is simply type in here who I'd like to have access or share that file to and it should automatically complete and bring up a list of your users within your company as you start typing. Now on the right hand side I can actually specify the permissions for this file and whether or not I want the user to be able to edit, make changes and save that file or if I only want them to be able to view the file. So in this instance I'm going to go can view which means that they're not able to make any changes to that file. There's a tick box just down the bottom which will be required sign in. So this is uh, basically specifying whether or not I want the user to sign in with their email address when they click on the link or if I just want them to click on the link and gain access to the file immediately. So the require signing can be useful for tracking who has actually accessed the file as you can get a report of uh, who's been logging in to view or change the file depending on their permissions. Finally uh, if I hit show options I'll get a tick box here uh, on whether or not I want to send them an email invitation. Now this is usually on by default and it's uh, because it's going to send them an email with the link to that particular file and uh, they, the user can click on the, f on the file to uh, open it up. <coughs> Excuse me. Now an uh, option you'll have here is to actually type in an email to that user provided the email invitation is on and that'll simply send through in an email. So the user will get a copy of this in an email with that message and a link to the particular file and clicking on share which only takes a moment basically SharePoint's going out setting the permission to that file and then sending the email off. Now another way I can share a file is simply by right clicking on the file you wish to share and select share. So this is just going to open up the same uh, dialog box we had a moment ago and uh, one thing I mentioned earlier is that you can actually share files to people outside of the company. So you could actually type a, uh, another email address in here, be it a personal account or uh, to an external company and run through the exact same process. Another option is to select get a link on the side. Uh, so basically this is an option uh, if maybe you were writing your own email out um, and you just wanted to put this link into an email. So what we get here is a drop down box with a number of options 
You can have uh, restricted links, which mean only specific people can open the link. Uh, you can have links whether or not a sign-in account is required, uh, or if no sign-in is required at all. So for this one, if I was to go view link, no sign-in required, you get an option down the bottom here to set an expiration, so I can say this file is only valid for one day. And you'll see here link expires in one day. And there's a copy button here which will allow me to copy this link. I could then switch over to my emails, type an email to whoever I'd like to send this file to, and the user will get this link in their email. And when they click on it, they will uh, simply be directed into this particular file and, uh, and be ready to go. Alright, and I'll just uh, close out of that one to go back. So that's um, basically sharing in SharePoint. Uh, as mentioned, I could now go into the shared with, go to demo and uh, decide to stop sharing that by selecting the uh, stop sharing option down here. Thank you again for joining me. For all information, please visit our website on www.ongc.com.au or if you have any inquiries, please email us at sales at ongc.com.au. Thank you very much.